think there's, a, there's three reasons for our company's success. So one is that we have a very clear and focused strategy, which is built on three pillars. One is the inertial guidance test system, we call it IGTS. Those are one, two axis motion simulators that test gyros and sensors. And then the second pillar is the hardware in the loop. Those are large flight motion simulators that uh, test missile applications. And then the third pillar is service and refurb retrofits in the market. So uh, that, that's, that's one area. And uh, the second area, would, I would say, would be um, a clear structure and clear, clear appropriate processes in the company. And the third most important, without that, you can't run a company, is very dedicated employees that are well informed and, and engaged in the company. Um, we see a lot of opportunities in the market. And there's, a, uh, there's a growing need in the um, MEMS inertial sensor market for um, um, more low cost uh, test capabilities. And we're, we're trying to address that, that need of these, these inertial MEMS sensor industry and, and device makers uh, to, to uh, offer the services and products. Next year we're all kind of uh, looking at the financial crisis, so I think the biggest challenge for, for us is, uh, like a lot of other companies, probably maintaining our growth path and staying on our growth path despite the crisis in the market. Pittsburgh, I mean, I've, I've, I'm over here now two and a half years, but uh, I mean, I've, I've read the history. I mean, we all know that the, the manufacturing has changed quite a bit from the steel industry. Today we have uh, uh, robotics, we have healthcare, we have uh, computer science that's very strong. So I would say that they are kind of uh, characterizing the, the uh, manufacturing industry today, but we still have a lot of small and medium sized companies. The workforce here has, has probably changed because you used to have, in the steel industry, we had immigrants that were trained on a certain trade or skill by models from Europe. They, they immigrated to, to Pittsburgh and they had dedicated knowledge in one area and they, they stayed in that area for 20 years or more, or the whole life they worked in that area. And today I think it's uh, the, the young, younger talents, they, they want to move faster. We don't have apprentices models here in Pittsburgh, which, uh, which is a shame because that's how you can learn a trade or a skill in, in manufacturing. We've hired actually um, about eight or nine people this year since the, the beginning of the year. We had a really hard time up until probably one, two months ago in finding really a talented match to, to uh, talents that match our, our uh, our skill sets needed and that's in the engineering arena because I think Pittsburgh has a lot of companies that are, are um, fighting for the same talent pool and it's been a, a big challenge for us to, to find the right people and it probably will remain that way here in Pittsburgh because we have a lot of growing companies here and uh, yeah that's, that's kind of our challenge this year. At the moment what keeps me up is uh, my little newborn to become but uh, usually I have a really good uh, night's sleep that gives me the energy that I need during the long days that I, that I have. And if it's something that keeps me up, it's problem solving. I and mean, then you hope that you come wake up in the morning and you have your problem solved. Sometimes you do, sometimes you get ideas during the night, but usually I sleep very well.